Hi, I'm here with Q Delara. She is CEO of Honeywell Connected Enterprise, and we're gonna talk about a partnership on real estate with SAP Cloud and combining operational and information technology data. Hi Q, thanks for joining us. Pleasure to be here. So I, I see your first thing that you're doing with Honeywell Cloud is hooking up with SAP to combine um, various data points for managing real estate. Uh, walk me through how that came about. Well, I think Honeywell has been a customer of SAP for a long time. And so it's very natural that we would have conversations. And the insight we had was SAP has, is rich in financial and business data and Honeywell is rich in operational data. And those two pieces coming together will provide customers a whole new set of insights to help them make decisions. And the first area that we're focused on is in real estate operations. So that's how it came about. And, and as far as Honeywell Cloud goes, this is sort of, um, this is kind of a milestone deal for you in that it connects a, a lot of dots with the enterprise. Is, can you walk me through the development of Forge in the last year or so? Absolutely. A year ago, we launched Forge. It came after a long effort to really overhaul how we're thinking about the IoT space and digital transformation as it pertains to the operational arena. So we completely rebuilt this um, in a very extensible, scalable way. And the reason why we did it, I mean, you could ask, well, why, why are we doing it now, is that I think customers have always wanted more productivity. They always want to drive costs down and waste out of the system, but they haven't had an easy way to do that. It's hard to get data out of assets. It's hard to combine it with people data. It's hard to combine it with financial data. And we, in the last 12 months, have really proven that we can do that. And we have won you know, significant uh, programs with customers to do that exact thing. How do we pull operational data out, provide insights and build applications for them? And now with SAP, we're linking that to financial data so they can see the operational performance, but also see that translate into what it looks like on the P&L. Oh, when it comes to the industrial internet of things, what inning do you think we're in? Like, is this, is this closer to the beginning or middle? middle? Where, I guess, where do we stand with the development of the inter industrial internet of things? I think we're still probably in the early innings. Um, I think there are, if you compare it to e-commerce or media and the last 20 years of what's happened, we're probably still in the early innings. I think people are trying to figure out how do I think about digital transformation in operations? Because there's a lot of, it's sort of an area that, Larry, that you can spend a lot of money and never spend enough money. And companies are now thinking, I've been through uh, a lot of pilots, I've tried a lot of different technologies, but I can't seem to get scale. And what I'm, why I'm so excited about Honeywell and SAP coming together is, these are two trusted brands in the space, and we are combining what we do best together in an offering that delivers scale and of business impact for CFOs and COOs that manage complex real estate operations. How do you think real estate management is going to change post COVID? I mean, it's, I, I you know, my first reaction was commercial real estate's hosed uh, as people work remote. And then, you know, and then I said, well, maybe not so fast because you're going to need the same amount of space for half the people as you stagger and do social distancing and all that. Um, how do you see the management of real estate changing as, you know, data comes more into play and then, you know, we kind of have a new normal for work? I, I guess, what are some of the points to ponder? I think there's a lot of different drivers. I think the first thing is we don't really know what the new normal will look like. For some businesses, they need people to come back to work because some of those people are guests at a hotel. Um, it's not just commercial buildings and for knowledge workers. Um, hospitals are going to need to have a way to manage people coming back to the workplace and so forth. So there's a variety of different things. I'm pretty sure um, sports stadiums want people back in stadiums and uh, venues and so forth. So it's unclear what's going to happen. So one thing that our solution is trying to solve for is, well, how do you manage the fact that it's going to be unpredictable? Um, how do you help employees, employers bring guests uh, employees back to work in a way that is safe and um, it's back to uh, also back to productivity. So I think what that's one consideration. 
The other area that I think COVID has really shot, um, shone a light on is the need for business continuity. So if you do, don't have these digital solutions, how do you manage a site that you don't have access to? How do you know it's operating and where you have problems and you might need to send someone on site, even if you can't send your entire workforce back en masse? So these are some considerations that I think people are, are working through, but the answer is I'm not sure how the new normal will translate in every sector. So one of the things that was um, that caught my eye in the you know release about the SAP Honeywell partnership was they were talking a lot about um, experiences. Mm -hmm. um, how how will that come together over time? Do you think in terms of I mean you know on you know getting the efficiency out of the HVAC utilization you know all that's very cost driven. How, how do you think more data will help you know the employee and customer experience in these buildings? Well, a good example is how do we help employers bring their employees back to work? I mean, think about the practicality of if you can only have, if you have to check in as an employee to consent to entering the building, maybe uh, provide some information about your well-being. There's a, some sort of checklist that you have to go through. And if you had to do that manually, that might take you 10, 15 minutes. And if you have several hundred people in the building, you can imagine how impractical that's going to be. So, as part of this solution, we're providing tools that can help employers manage that process. So even simple things like that, entering the building itself is no longer the same as when you started. So that's an example of how the experience can be a lot better and you're getting feedback as to how that process is, is working. So there's also a category of software that's kind of, you know, popping up in terms of, I, I guess you would call them you know, work experiences or worker management and, you know, they're, they're checking everything from health to social distancing, proximity, all, all these sort of things. Um, do you anticipate the Honeywell SAP partnerships going to have to connect to other systems in terms of pulling in data? Or I guess, how do you see that developing? Absolutely. I think, you know, we're not going to be able to solve, have all the ideas. And so product integration into other solutions where, if there are other tools that companies are using, our customers are using to solve a problem, then the beautiful thing about uh, Honeywell Forge is how it's been designed to be able to easily integrate into those types of applications. But you can imagine that this feedback loop from the employee to the employer is going to be enhanced because what if an employer e sees that an area needs to be cleaned uh, more often? So that feedback loop comes back into the, um, the mobile app so that facilities managers know what to do because the cleaning cycles are going to be a lot more frequent than they have been in the past. So do you think this is all API driven in terms of the um, connections with other clouds? And, you know, I guess the other thing, just walk me through the data model that mm -hmm. had to be put together for this. Yes. One of the, I would say, special things about Honeywell Forge is how we've constructed the, the data model around assets, the process and people information. And it really, think of it as a, um, think of it as a knowledge graph that stores Honeywell's know-how in terms of how things work. As a simple example, if, if air is flowing through a air handling unit in a building, for example, at a certain speed, then that indicates maybe we need to change the air filters as, as a very simple example. So our data model codifies that. But the beautiful thing about that is it's extensible. So it means that as we encounter other use cases or integration into other applications, we can extend that data model into those areas. It's not a complete new rebuild. Um, and you know, that's the magic of extensibility within Honeywell Forge. All right, I think that's all I had. Uh, any questions I didn't ask that I should have? Well, we're very excited about this partnership, um, Larry. I think, um, We've talked a lot today about real estate operations, but I'd like to you know, let your, your viewers know that it's just the beginning of other uh, verticals that will be uh, working together with SAP to unlock the power of financial and performance data to drive you know, fantastic business outcomes for our customers. All right, thanks a lot. No worries, take care.